What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. If you're here for the first time, what is up? My name is Frances Michelle and I'm so happy that you guys are in today's video. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey! What's up? Yeah! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Today's video coming at you is going to be my long-lasting, long wear, simple bronzy look. I wanted to create this look for you because it is a look that I go to for a lot of time. But at the same time, I've tried a few new products that I'm testing out and I am loving how my skin is looking and definitely loving the fact that it's staying on me all day in this Florida heat. I live in Florida and the heat here is no joke. So I want something that my skin is going to love, is going to enjoy, it's not gonna feel too cakey, it's not gonna be too heavy. I'm gonna have full coverage and I'm gonna have a long wear for this finish and I'm just living for this bronzy look, guys. Like, yay, catch me on this. All the time so if you're new to my channel I'm going to ask you to please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell and following me along on Instagram it's Francis 2s is that Michelle that is where you find your girl that is where I am all the time anyways guys so without further ado let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial okay so because we're gonna try to make this a makeup last we're gonna prep our face and we're gonna prep really 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 good just to kind of like make sure that our foundation is going to stay very very long time in our on our skin and for that we really have to prep our skin i cannot i cannot stress enough i'm going to jump into my two favorite moisturizers at the moment i'm going to be doing the rose ceramide cream by pixie beauty and then i'm going to be doing the confidence inner cream it is by far one of my favorite um uh, moisturizer this one is with the rosy tone um i absolutely love the formula on this and it smells amazing then i just do a little bit of the ceramide cream it is really really good um it's an intense moisturizer but it's not really 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 thick so we are going to be using um to put this to the test to so pretty much it is a long lasting makeup look um it's a full coverage long lasting makeup look we are going to be using the milk makeup um grip primer um i went to buy it at sephora the other day they did not have it they just had like the tester and i told her hey girl you need to give me at least some of that because i really 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 need to use it and the i tried it the other day i put it on i put my foundation on and i was living for it it was like like 11 and my husband was like are you gonna remove your makeup and i'm like don't don't touch it so this make this primer is tend to pretty much grip that's why it's called a grip primer to kind of like hydrate your skin but at the same time kind of just like like hold on to the foundation so the foundation does not go anywhere so it's like living so i was like yes i am loving this primer and i'm definitely going to pick up the um the full size of this because i feel like with florida weather florida heat we definitely definitely need this primer this primer um the consistency of it is kind of sticky so if you don't mind the stickiness of the primer um then this primer is bomb your foundation it doesn't you don't feel it it's not like you're gonna be feeling it it's not like it's gonna be there and you're just gonna be like oh my foundation feels sticky all right so for my long wear foundation for my long wear um part also the foundation is going to play in part and this is going to be my second time using this foundation guys but i definitely got my hands on the nars uh, natural radiant long wear foundation and i am living 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 for this foundation guys this foundation is a bomb.com and honestly guys like it just stayed a long long time so we're going to be using this foundation the color i am right now it's barcelona um that's the shade that i am at the moment So I'm going to use a beauty blender to blend everything and the coverage on this foundation is so so good like you can see the redness on my skin and it just covers it right off the bat and it's not like a heavy foundation so it doesn't feel cakey at all.
All right, so far for concealer, I'm going to be mixing two of my favorite concealers at the moment. I'm going to be missing, of course, the Too Faced Born This Way concealer for the coverage because it just covers my under eyes. And on top of it, I'm going to be adding a little bit of this 16-hour Wear um, Elf Cameo Concealer. Um, this one is for brightening because it just brightens really, really, really good. We're just going to grab a little bit of this one, not a lot, and we're just going to do one swipe because as you can see, it's really, 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 really bright. All right, so what we're going to do now is we are going to contour with um, concealer. I'm going to be using the Born This Way also, um, but I'm going to be using it to kind of bronze up my skin. I just feel like the Beauty Blender sort of picks up a little bit more product and doesn't really do, um, like leave much in, much in the skin. Okay, so after the contour and concealers are placed there i like to use this trick i like to go ahead and go in with the setting powder i'm using the over decay all nighting setting spray and i'm just gonna pretty much set my concealer and my um, foundation all together before i jump into powder then i go in and i make sure i press on So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the powders. I'm going to be setting my under eyes and I'm gonna use the Collab um, setting powder. I've been using the crap out of this powder. It's so good, it brightens my under eyes and it's really, really, really good, guys. I really like it, like using it. So I'm going to set my under eyes, but I'm not gonna bake. I'm just gonna set it with the actual powder on the, on the sponge because what I'm doing is I'm actually patting on that product. Okay, and then I'm going to set the rest of my face the same way. I'm actually going to grab the powder and I'm just pretty much going to set everything with the powder, um, with, the bra with the, I'm sorry, with the sponge. I feel like I'm pressing on the product and it's just going to help everything stay in place. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to um, bronzer. I'm going to be bronzing up my face with the uh, Fenty Beauty Bronzer. Um, I'm using the uh, Shady Biz Sun Stalker um, bronzer. Super, super nice bronzer. I'm going to grab a angled brush. And I'm going to kind of carve out a little bit more where I did the contour. Just, just like the cream product kind of absorbs that um, powder and it just blends smoothly and it just stays there for a very, for, it stays, for me, I just feel like it stays there a lot longer. So we're just going to do a little bit on the nose because I want that bronzy color on the temples of her face. All right, and then we're going to grab a fluffier brush and we're using the same bronzer and we're just going to bronze up a little bit more our cheeks just to kind of give it that bronze look rather than just a straight out contour. All right, so now we're going to go ahead um, and I'm going to move into a little bit of bra of blush, just kind of tie everything together. I've been using the uh, Note Cosmetic, I think it's Note Beauty. And this is just a beautiful terracotta shade. It just kind of blends perfectly um, and it just looks very even when I use it. Um, so I've been loving to use this, bl um, this blush. So I'm just going to grab a little bit. This is very, very pigmented. All right, guys. So... After that, I like to leave the highlight for last. I'll tell you why, because I don't like that. I like to leave the highlight for last. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the eyes. All right, so let's move on to the eyes. Um, I'm going to 
I'm gonna move on to the eyes really quick. I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer just to kind of set my on my eyes, my eyelids. Let me just jump into my brows really quick. So I'm just pretty much gonna fill my brows and then I'm gonna move on to my eyes. And as soon as I finish my eyes, we're just gonna go ahead and finish the whole face, just kind of like wrap up the look together, just kind of do the look together. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the eyes. We're just going to go for like that bronzy color and it's really, really easy, guys. I'm going to be using just literally two shades. I'm going to be using um, these two shades here. They are from the, they're single shades from Anastasia. Um, and every time I do like a, like a bronzy look, I go, these are like my go-to shades. So I'm going to go in first with, with, the call, with the color Caramel. This is going to be my lid shade and as well as my transition shade. Um, it's pretty much going to be all over my eyes. And I'm just going to pretty much place that on my crease and I'm working my way up towards the, um, the eye, just kind of like all over. Okay, so now we're gonna work, we're actually gonna add this color to our lid with a shader brush. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and grab the color Sunset, which is like a nice shimmery bronzy color. And we are just going to um, apply a little bit of Fix Plus to our, to our brush. And we're gonna grab, and I'm gonna be applying it pretty much all over the lid um it's not a cut crease so it's not like it's gonna look how beautiful that looks when you use fix plus on this thing it's just like hey all right so now i'm just gonna take the same color that i use on my lid i'm gonna go ahead and apply it on the bottom part of my eyes just to kind of tie the whole look together so i'm just gonna apply a little bit on the bottom All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and move on to mascara. We are going to just kind of pack on mascara. Um, we're not doing a lot, we're not doing um, like, I'm sorry, we're not doing waterproof mascara. I don't like it, it just kind of clumps up my lashes, but if you wanna go for waterproof mascara, by all means, go. I don't really like waterproof mascara, but you can do it. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of uh, liquid liner really, really, really close to my lash line just to kind of um, bring out the mascara. Yo, you guys are sleeping on this mascara. This mascara is so, so good. And it was like four bucks. Like I'm just living, like I am living for how inexpensive and how bomb is this mascara. So that's it for the eyes, guys. This is pretty much everything I do for the eyes. So now we're gonna move on to um, the rest of the face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to spray my face with the um, MAC Fix Plus. Um, this is gonna pretty much gonna make sure my my face lasts, but at the same time, just gives me a nice finish. But I'm gonna I'm going to apply it, and now I'm actually going to apply a little bit of highlight because my skin is fresh and dewy. I'm going to be applying the highlight just because you're gonna see the difference. Look at that. When I apply after the Fix Plus, like, I love it. And who doesn't like, like, a lot of Fix Plus? Like, I do. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to lips. I'm going to be lining my lips with um, a CoverGirl lip liner. And then I'm going to be using the um, Sunny Side Liquid Lipstick by um, ColourPop. I just feel like they last a very, very long time, guys.
All right, so guys, to finish up the whole entire look, I like to go ahead and after using the Fix Plus, I like to go ahead and set it with the Urban Decay All Nighting Setting Spray because I trust this thing. This string is like literally freaking um, hairspray to the face. But that's it, guys. That is pretty much everything that I do when it comes to this long wear, fresh look. Very bronzy, very highlighted, super simple to do look. And I really hope you guys enjoy this look. I really hope that if you guys um, create it, it really works for you because it definitely works for me. And this Florida heat, it, which is so, so hot, you just feel like your face is melting up. But I feel like when you use the right product you can have that long wear finish and i absolutely love the finish the foundation gives me the fix plus definitely is a go-to when it comes to like that fresh looking glowy skin so anyways guys thank you guys so much for um watching the video if you liked the video as usual do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and if you have not yet to subscribe make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram thank you guys so much for your love thank you guys so much for your support thank you for sticking till the end muchos besos i'll see you ladies on my following video adios